girls as well. So oh, what do you do? Sorry. Oh, we have a podcast ourselves where we. It's Mel Self Approved Podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mel Self Approved Podcast. Yeah, Fresh okay. and Fit. Yeah. So you have women on there? Yes. It's a component of what we do. We also do Money Mondays, teach guys how to make money. Uh, oh. Then Wednesdays, how to date properly and get your stuff together. Uh, and then Fridays, we do call in shows or bring in special guests or whatever it may be. But, so, do yeah. you think you're quite knowledgeable in the dating field? To a degree. Do you think you have a great understanding of how women work? Yes. Yes. Unfortunately, yes. Unfortunately? Yeah. Wouldn't that be a great thing if you understand the woman? Uh, well, the thing is, you can either understand women or respect them, but you can't do both at the same time. What is he talking about? I don't think that's a true statement. I think with understanding women, you'd learn to respect them more. The same as understanding a man, you don't, you'd learn to respect him more. No, nah, you can't respect them as equals once you understand them. You'd still respect them as a woman and what, they, what value they hold I'm and what speaking they from an equality standpoint. Like, I can't respect them as equals since I understand them. And I think that's the way they like it anyway. We can respect each other for their gender. Like, I would respect a man for being a man and what he provides as a man. And you could respect a woman for the things that she could provide that you could never do. If you understand women, there's no way you can respect them as equals. That's, that's Why? my premise on it. Why can't you respect them as an equal? Because we're way different. Yeah, but you can still respect the fact that you're different and respect what they're capable of that you're not. Men and women aren't equal. It's just funny how women want you to treat them as equals, but everything that they're actually attracted to and aroused by, most importantly, is not equal. I can't believe what I'm hearing. For example, perfect example. I came down here. I said, oh, give me a hug. Would you say, oh, well, it's traditional. Kiss my hand. Yes, that did not sound English. That right there in itself signifies the difference between men and women. Yeah. You displayed it yourself a second ago. Also, that's fine. Doesn't mean you can't respect that. <laughs> so, so traditionalism, and this is what a lot of girls do, they'll want traditionalism when it benefits them, but that they'll want to expect to be treated as equal later on. Don't you think men are the same though? How so? Like they want to be traditional in the sense that they provide and stuff, but then they want to be treated equal when they can't bother to show up as a man anymore. Well, here's the thing. I disagree with that. I think men need to, you know, be protectors and providers. So I don't think uh, women should work. I think the man needs to be the sole breadwinner and I think women should work electively. With responsibility comes authority, right? So if you're gonna go ahead and be responsible and pay the bills and everything else, like you should have the authority to tell your girl what it is. So do you think men are higher value than a woman in a relationship? Wow. Yeah, every time I come on the show, it's just another girl spouting the same bullshit about, oh, treat me like a lady, but at the same time, I'm equal to you. It's like, what the fuck? It doesn't make sense. If you wanna be treated like a lady, that inherently means we're not equal because it's way harder to find a guy that has a shit together than an attractive woman. It's not necessarily an attractive woman because if, you've, that's if what all we care you're about. looking for is an that's, attractive woman. That's what woman we care about. So you don't care that what values, traditions, what respect levels? Well, yeah, what, obviously what she, she can't be a whore either. It's not that hard to be pretty and keep your legs closed. It's not but hard. It's not, is that all you care about though? Yeah. This guy is unbelievable. So you wouldn't want a woman that looks after you, you looks after your mental health, looks after your of brain, Of course, that comes, that comes with it. Not necessarily. I know a million beautiful women that haven't got the power in their brain or the sense to, to be accommodating in that sort of in any way. Well, typically, when girls aren't right, that means they come from a strong family structure. Yeah. They understand these things. They have a strong male figure in their family to some degree that they respect. But then you are expecting more than just looks, then, aren't you? Well, it's the main thing to get her foot in the door. It's the most important thing because there's no conversation if she's not attractive first. Okay, so what, what's your type? Not fat. Okay. Not a hoe. What would you classify as fat? Like, it, it's just crazy to me how like, there's so many girls that are like, you know, big as hell. Like I weigh about 195 to 200 pounds. There's girls that weigh as much as me and I'm 6'3". So it's like, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. You know, there'll be a hundred kilos and expect you so to- So you want to feel bigger than the woman? It's not about me feeling bigger. It's just about, I don't want a girl. It's unacceptable. Just like women don't want a man shorter than them. I don't want a girl big as hell. Facts. Do you not think that's quite like offensive to women? In what way? Calling them fat as hell. Yeah, because they're in direct control of every morsel of food that goes in their mouth. That's even worse. Just like a dude is in control of how much money he earns, woman's in control of how much food she consumes. Also men are in control of how much food they consume, so men can also get it. Well, away. yeah, it's unacceptable to be fat as a man as well, but it's even worse when you're a female, because at least as a man, you can make up for your lack of aesthetics. Men have to provide value and utility in way more than one way. Women, you guys have one job. What more? No, two jobs. Be hot. Three jobs. And don't be a Not hard. That is ridiculous. So all you require from a woman, and you think all we're capable of as women, is making sandwiches, looking good, and what was the third thing? Not, not being a Not being a whore. Not being a whore. Well, I didn't say that's all they're capable of. What I'm saying is that these are things that men tend to value. Women tend to think that we care about like their opinions and all this other stuff. We don't care about none of that. 
Men actually don't want a lot, guys. We're very simple. Women's opinions, of course, are valid. This guy has got everything seriously twisted. But you will eventually, won't you? So if you were with a woman and you were settling with a woman and you were and you were growing as the business or something, your woman is naturally going to be right by your side, isn't she? So you are going to value her opinion. You are going to respect. No, because the reality is, when a woman's with a man that she loves and admires and respects, her opinions pretty much become your opinions. Girls absorb the strongest man in uh, that they're in a relationship with or that they're linked to. So, for example. If a girl has a strong father, a lot of the time she has a very similar worldview to her father. Yeah. If she has strong brothers, she has a similar worldview. If she doesn't have any male, you know, influence, she'll do to think dumb shit like her mom tells her. Oh, man, ain't shit, blah, blah, blah. So I can always tell from speaking with a woman if she has a father or some kind of strong masculine figure in her life. That's why we don't care about y'all opinions because we know it can be morphed by your whatever but your influence some women by. do have a great mind and they do have helpful opinions and they do have a different opinion that maybe, well, actually, I wouldn't have thought of about it like that because I'm in such a masculine state that sometimes you forget the femininity is actually really important too when it comes to certain things. Her opinion matters, but she has to earn that, right? So, like, a lot of okay. girls think that we care about their opinion on early on date. in the relationship yeah, or whatever. That. We really don't because a man's life is way harder than a woman's life. So whatever opinion you have, it's kind of null and void. I don't necessarily think a man's hard life is harder than a woman's life. I think men have a hard life, women have a hard life, but we have different struggles. Yeah, these feminists are stupid. If he spent even a day in a woman's shoes, he would know that that is a lie. I think the only thing that's different with men and women is women have a great support system. So any of our struggles are like shared, they're halved, whereas a man is literally on your own. You don't really have that friendship group that you could go in wow, just release your emotions to. No, no, no. That doesn't, that doesn't mean that anyone's <laughs> life's harder. It just means we, we both have equally hard lives. and we, no, have we, don't. we must become excellent. Like women have the privilege of being mediocre and still being taken seriously by society, still finding a man to take care of them. Also, on the other hand, if we don't become excellent, our reality reflects that. We get no chicks, no one respects us, no one wants to hang out with us. So as a man, you must go out there and become successful. For women, you don't have to. You'll never experience childbirth. You'll never experience pregnancy. You'll never experience menstrual That's a choice. cramps. That's a choice. Menstrual cramps aren't a choice. They're okay, monthly. but pregnancy is. But if you wanted a child, because it's not just a singular choice, is it? It's between two people. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted a child, you can't, you can't physically have your own child. It'd be on your woman. Ah, this is a perfect example of women always seeing the finish line and not actually seeing the race. What needs to happen for a child to be born? The obvious. Sex, right? Sexual How does a man go about getting sex? Um, I don't know. Uh, you, you have a little exactly. house, so it's probably really exactly. easy. Delusional, what's new? Let's talk about the race. Let's talk about the guy having to build his value up. Let's talk about the guy being useless at 18 years old versus a woman at 18 years old. Everyone's trying to fly her out. She's hot enough. She has an Instagram profile. She's getting offers from dudes that are, you know, $1 million, $2 million net worth, etc. As a man, you have to build yourself up to even be able to get sex. Women are just offered sex. I don't for think that's existence. true, actually, because if you're a good looking guy, like you said, there's plenty of women around that, that will happily have sex. If you're a good looking guy. <laughs> we all know that it's not easy for guys to get laid. If it was, guys would be watching porn or subscribing to OnlyFans or all this other fuckery that we got going on with sex work. It's not harder for men to have sex. It might be harder for men to have sex with higher value women. But like you said, there's hoes, hoes everywhere. There's women of less value or less attractive than you that would happily sleep with you. So it's not harder. You're just looking in the wrong places. Okay, what does it take to be a good looking guy? It depends. Everyone's idea of, of good looking differs, but most people find a lot of men attractive these days. Okay. And the standards aren't very high. I keep it simple. So, so for, as a guy to be attractive, you have to be tall. Most women want a guy over six feet tall. Most men don't. Most for say that. this, but then when it actually comes down to it, and you ask them about their pasts, most men probably aren't over. Well, six you said feet good tall. looking and casual sex. So if a woman's going to go ahead and have casual sex and good looking with a guy, she's typically going to want a guy that's like very, very attractive. It depends so, how junk she is. People get laughed into bed all the time. The point I'm trying to make is, is that women typically want a guy who's better than them in every regard. So for a guy to get sex is very difficult. And then you're t mentioning, oh, well, he could just be good looking. That's not easy for a man. You have to go to the gym. You have to build your body up. You have to dress well, smell well. Then you have to also have but game, even if you're a good looking guy. the same for a woman. She's got no fucking idea, man. He has absolutely zero idea. Do you f every good looking guy you talk to? No, absolutely not. Oh, okay. I'm not talking about me. You said you surround yourself with hoes. And I'm saying if you do surround yourself with hoes, then sex is easily obtainable. For good looks sense. a lot of the times might get your foot in the door. But if you're not able to convey yourself in a certain way, have a certain tonality, have a certain confidence, speak in a certain way. But do you not think that's the same with a woman? No. We still have to go to the gym. No, we, still we have actually to appreciate thing. when you guys are quiet. I've had enough. But if we went on a first date and yeah. I sat there and I was like, mm-hmm. 
you're going to think, one, she's boring, two, she's got no personality, three, she's got zero substance. Now, as much as you say all you want is someone to look good and make sandwiches, realistically, you're going to get so bored of that if the person you're dating has no substance. Well, mo so most of them are boring in general. Imagine as a guy and, you know, hot girls want to fly you out and suck your and smash you just for you existing. Would you actually go to the gym and develop yourself? The answer is a profound fucking no. And the hottest especially are boring. That's not also very true. I think it just depends on how you're, you were raised and, and your upbringing and what you were surrounded with. He is wrong. I do not care. That is wrong. There's a lot of people that you wouldn't find attractive that are also boring. There's a lot of people in general but no one that cares about very ugly girls. No one cares about ugly girls. But the, what I'm saying is that <laughs> hot girls a lot of times are boring because they've never had to develop themselves to become attractive. And they've gotten everything that they've ever wanted simply by being hot. So why... Like, I think it's a very small minority why need of to people, develop, though. Why didn't, no one gives a shit about ugly girls, just like no one cares about broke guys in front of 7-Eleven asking for money. You're invisible. Attractive women are fairly common. Yeah, of course they are. They're but fairly a, common. The attractive women that have had everything handed to them and never had to work and, and never had to build a personality, that's quite rare because a lot of people that I know that are attractive are very great people and they've had not everything handed to them. They've still crafted, they've still worked, and they've obtained a great personality. Like women, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, but you got to remember that what women are interested in and what men are interested in are two different things. He keeps saying about women don't like men unless they've got money, but I know girls out here that don't give a fuck about money. The reason why I say women live life on easy mode is because they reserve the right to be useless if they want. But as a man... I don't think so. Hold on. Well, okay. But go on, How sorry. many useless do you know that are with rich guys? You probably know a bunch. No, I They're don't. They're stupid. They don't, I don't make any money. They don't do nothing. I don't know any. You don't know? Okay, well, in the real world, okay... There's very attractive women that have no skills, yeah. right, that are with exceptional men. And they're able to do so because they're attractive. Now, with that said, I'm not knocking all women out there. If girls want to go to school and make money and be successful, that's cool. But the key is they don't have to. However, as a man, you cannot be a loser and get an exceptional woman. But you can, especially in this generation where women want equality and women want to overpower a man. There's women out there that are doing really Those well. Those relationships never last. Those do, relationships do, never last. Does it, does it ever last vice versa? Yeah. Or does he men wanna... rarely leave relationships. Yeah, but they it's do, though, because... Leave. Women leave, men don't. We know that 80% of divorces are initiated by women, and men rarely, if ever, leave women unless, like, they do some really vile shit. So, once again, a girl that doesn't understand how the real world works. They don't leave the relationship. They just obtain other relationships during their relationship in order for the woman to leave. Still in a relationship. They don't end it. But is it really a relationship? It's on yeah. false pretenses now, men, isn't it? Men almost always want other women. That's just how it goes. Is that true though? Or yes. do you think when you really love someone that you will just stay in a monogamous relationship? Monogamy is a lie. For who? For men. Ooh. The guys that sit there and say, I want to be monogamous. Nine out of 10 times they're lying. It's cope. They want to have other women. They just either A, are too scared to admit it. B, don't have the sexual market value to attract multiple women or see all the above. Do you know what? You don't actually realize how men think until you start dating them in this, this intense with this grilling this whole grilling thing and they're really open about that they all just want to f women all day long no matter what relationship no matter what and they think it's absolutely fine it's not fine guys it's f***ing damaging stop listening to online people because you know what the truth is if they find a good woman they're not going to f*** anyone else anyway they're just damaged let them heal come back to them don't listen to them because they're just going to damage you as well I'm not saying that men aren't naturally going to want other women because mm -hmm. that's a very natural thing for men I understand that yeah. but it's whether you're going to break your relationship or risk your relationship in order to obtain another woman during why that. not why not tell her i'm gonna have multiple girls why not be honest but then you that's might, what I she might not stay well that's why most guys lie but if your value is high enough you tell her straight up i'm gonna have other women and they accept and it. this is why i always say the more money you have you think you can buy your way out of morality we always put morality in the female frame oh it's immoral for you to have you know multiple women it's immoral for you to want to have other chicks, I could turn around and be like, well, it's immoral for you to want a guy that has money. It's immoral for you to want a guy that's six foot tall. It's immoral for you to want but a guy that's better than but you. But it's ever... natural, though. That's oh, it's natural. natural for me to want... It's natural for you to want it, to but it's, it's whether you're going to go and do that. It's so hold on, hold on, hold on. So it's okay for you to want and actually take action on having a guy that's six foot tall, that makes money, that has status, that is attractive, that's charming, that's good yeah. looking. But it's immoral for me to enact on my natural want, which is multiple women. Yes, because it's very different. And a woman, and man, like you said, you're wait, not wait, wait, hold on. You it's someone who's let's not Let's make this fat. even more fun, hold on. That's let's the make same this even thing. more fun. This is a perfect example of women thinking that their double standards are more important than yours. So for example, they want to sit there and say, I want a guy that makes money and tall and successful and strong, etc. But if you want multiple women, it's a problem. He is the epitome of delusional. 
as a man, I have to earn my ability to get a variety of women. You don't have to even earn your ability to get a guy that's six foot that makes money, etc. Of course you do. Well, you don't. You just exist. That's just not true. Just exist. You can't just exist just and just exist. get every man in the world. If you're attractive, just exist. Have an Instagram profile. Be at a club or be at a I bar. Just stand you, there. If you and genuinely will come up to you. spent a week in a woman's body, you'd understand that that's actually not a true statement in the slightest. Maybe, like I said, the women that you've associated with have had a life. Like if that. I was a woman, I'd see how uh, women's lives are easy. It's not easy mode compared to men. Easy mode. Typical modern day woman in front of me, guys. I feel sorry for whoever bears this man's kids. You yeah, think women it. are inferior? Why? It's bio biology. Yeah. Biology. They're physically. They're mentally. But aren't men here like as protectors inferior. of women? Yeah. So why would we need to be protected if we was inferior? You protect things that are more in value to you than you, than you are. I got him there. No, well, because... The king has bodyguards, the queen has bodyguards to look after them because they're very high value. They need to be protected. Men are here as protectors of women. Well, so we're not necessarily inferior, the fact, are the, we? The fact, the fact that I'm able to even protect you and I have the ability to do so... It's because you're, you're that stronger. That I'm superior to you, yeah. Your strength is superior. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I mean. Men are End of story. No one watches WNBA for a reason. They suck. Who I don't watches, think, who watches I don't think sports? the word inferior and superior are the right words to use uh, between men and worse. women. It's go. like a baby. Say semantics. we had a child, a little newborn baby. He's inferior. He's useless. He's <laughs> it's the truth. Babies are a liability and so are women, guys. Did he really just say babies are a liability? And here's the thing. You know, just like babies and children, like you guys can barely make your own decisions. Don't know what you want to eat half the time. Lovely can't me. protect yourselves. Mm. It's like, God well, damn. I mean, we can protect ourselves, but we shouldn't have How? to because that's How? what men are for. How are you going to protect well, yourself from a man? We, no, not from a man, I suppose. Yeah. But this is why you're here. Okay. To protect us. Yeah, because so we're, we're not inferior we're superior. to you. You're not superior. Your strength is superior yeah. for the reason of protecting women. He just seems so insecure when it comes to women. And I just, I kind of feel a little bit sorry for him. Your strength is superior. Which is the most important thing. It's strength is the only thing, thing that matters. Strength isn't all that matters. Stop winding me up now. It's the only thing that matters. Th what, that's a very vague statement to say. Strength is the only thing that matters in the whole yes. world. Yes. So you can't it's talk. It's why we're at the top of the food chain. It's why we built this crazy 